Christianity and the church and contemporary China, do these things go together? Uh, <laughs> very, very good question. Well, if you put it this way, in 1949, uh, the Catholic population of China I, was about twice the uh, Protestant uh, um, population in China. And I think uh, the Catholic population of China might have been about 5 million and the Catholic Protestant about 2 million. They say today that the Protestant uh, population in China uh, is about f anything from 40 to 60 million and that the Catholic population in China is anything from 12 to 20 million. So there's a huge de facto increase. Um, the old Catholics and the old Protestants are contributing to that because they're, they're bringing their grandchildren and their neighbors in, to, the, to the faith. Um, does it have anything to offer to Chinese society? Well, I certainly think it has, and there are some people in China that certainly think it has. And uh, especially in the social area, with Catholic social teaching, and the Catholic teaching on the dignity of the person, and the Catholic teaching on peace and justice in society. Um, one of the main um, calls of the governments of China and the leadership in China over the last number of years was harmonious society. And even today in the new generation, they're talking about a different version of a society that's more equal. Well, the Catholic Church certainly, and the Protestant churches also, of course, have something to offer to that from our history of Catholic social teaching, which has developed for the last 150 years or more, and from the whole question of the dignity of the human person arising from them being loved by God and special to God and therefore have a dignity because of that.